Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. It is another week, and this week, a very, very special car for us to go and unlock. I'm not even joking when I say the most requested car in Forza history. This is number one. It is the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. I have been waiting for this thing for years. We've got to achieve 50% in the autumn season. That is what we're gonna go and do by finishing up a bunch of these things. However, before we go and do that, we gotta take a look at the Forzathon shop. According to Discord, the Forzathon shop is currently down, so we will come back to that when we can. <laughs> I guess we won't waste any time. Let's go and unlock our Lamborghini Huracan Performante. It's taken 25 minutes. Season bonus is done. The Lamborghini Huracan Performante has been unlocked. One of my personal favorites. Yo, it's the top of S1 class. Okay. That might actually make this thing very, very slow in S1 class, but eh. Anyways, it is a legendary car. 630 horsepower, 450 foot-pounds of torque, 3,000 pounds, and it's all-wheel drive. It's got the same 5.2 V10 out of the Audi R8, or I say the Audi R8 has the same engine as this car. For those of you who don't know anything about this car, imagine basically it's a Lamborghini Huracan on steroids. It's lighter, it's more powerful, it's stiffer, it's faster. It's all around a better car. It's got these very, very cool, like, raw carbon fiber like front bumper there they move the exhaust up and it's just so cool looking it's not raw carbon fiber it's forged carbon fiber i'm sorry i'm gonna annoy all the purists this is a big old v10 please please don't let this be a recycled sound what's this stolen from Guys, it sounds like a normal hurricane. Why, why you gotta do this to me, game? People have been asking for this for so long, and it sounds like a normal hurricane. Nah, that ain't cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's pull over. We gotta queue up Daddy Doug to show us what this car actually is supposed to sound like. <laughs> How am I stuck with? What are we doing, game? The Hurricane Performante should be incredibly quick. You may remember this thing for shattering the lap time at the Nürburgring. Why don't we give it a little bit of a go on a race course, see what we can do. I think we need something with quite a few twists and turns. You know what? It's actually been a very long time since we've come out here. Bring it to the favorite race course. Here's the thing with this car, right? This car is going up against the 488 Pista and the McLaren 600 LT. Sorta, kinda. What we need to figure out today is, is this car better? Hurricane Performante, this is what we've been waiting years for. So let's see. We'll compare it to the two other giants. We'll see what it can do. It should be stiffer, faster, all round better. It's all wheel drive, I've got no excuse. I'm also kind of interested to see what sort of customization we've got for this thing. Like in one sense, it is a Lamborghini Huracan, so you probably wouldn't have anything. But the Aventador, the Forza Edition, has like 2000 horsepower. So who knows with this thing, maybe they've given it some very, very interesting upgrades, but I am gonna say, this is completely bone stock, right? This is on the hardest difficulty. We're rocketing away from the AI here. Anyway, so like I was saying, this thing was actually the Nürburgring lap time record holder, right? When this thing actually did it, there was a big controversy saying like, oh, Lamborghini sped up the clip. I don't know if it was ever confirmed, but apparently, they recorded it at like 25 FPS and then they uploaded it at like a different frame rate or something. Long story short, there was some cheeky business with this thing. Lamborghini ended up giving all the data to Road and Track and it was confirmed that they didn't actually cheat. And it was actually, for a short time, the fastest car around the Nürburgring. And then Porsche was just like, nah, you can't do that. 
They brought out the GT2 RS and they just absolutely demolished the Hurricane. Anyways, I just gotta say, in terms of Forza, this thing's bone stock. That's like the easiest race of our goddamn career. Yo, look at our lap time compared to everybody else. Usually, like, they put up a little bit of a fight, but that ain't bad. I think we'll start this off with a fairly tame build. Maybe try to get it, like, mid S2 class, and then we'll come back and we'll do another build. That's just balls to the wall, and we'll see what we can do with that one. Anyways, engine swaps. We've got two. We've got our stock engine out of the Hurricane. We can upgrade it to a V12. That ain't bad. That's, that's actually probably the quickest engine. Or sorry, that will be the quickest engine, the Racing V12. We'll keep this thing stock for the moment. We can make it rear wheel drive if you like making your cars worse. We will go twin turbo though, bring it up to 850 horsepower. That ain't bad. If you like to make your Hurricane Performante basically completely useless there you go tires and rims let's go oh we're actually already on race tires okay i like it and then this car gets a 10 out of 10 it's perfect it gets the engine spacers come on make it aggressive yo nailed it thank you playground games this ain't bad at all maybe with some weight reduction like here's the thing with lamborghinis always always I love Lamborghinis, right? And I and I love driving them around. However, the problem with every single one of them is that they're way, way too heavy. We'll get some new springs on this thing, lower it down a little bit with drift suspension. That's pretty low, I like it. 3,000 pounds, it's not heavy. But when you compare it to other things in the same class, you can definitely feel it's a chunky boy. Remove 500 pounds, two and a half thousand pounds in this thing. And then, like I said, I want to keep this one kind of tame. We'll go with an exhaust. Let's go with some camshafts. And then let's go with some twin turbos. A thousand two hundred horsepower. I like it. Okay, I wanted to keep it tame. It's X class. We doubled the horsepower. We removed some weight. We're on race tires. This is more than I asked for, but... Uh, okay. You know what? Kind of the disappointing thing. What makes a performante a performante? The Italian flag down the side, right? If we actually paint this thing, will that get removed? Oh, no way. We can paint our trim. I get it, game. You want to give me the extra customization, but if that's not black or carbon fiber... What are you really doing out here? Suddenly, I want to buy a Lamborghini. Most people would look at this car and be like, that is a car that you do not want to drive every single day. It's a Lamborghini, first of all, right? So it's stiff, it's scary. It's definitely not a type of car that you'd want to drive in the winter. However, one crazy guy actually did. A guy in Montreal was driving around in his white Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Only in Canada do you get something quite like that. Why don't we try to recreate that? Let's go do a race in the snow. See how hard it actually is. This is definitely a silly idea. But if you've got one of these in Canada, this might be your reality. So let's give it a go. We're racing against a bunch of Ford Focuses. So back to our question. Would I take this over a 488 Pista or the McLaren 600 LT? I don't know if ever, I've ever spoken about this before. I've never actually driven or been in a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, or a McLaren, for a matter of fact. I have driven an Audi R8 V10 Plus, which has the same engine as this thing. And it was the coolest thing I've ever driven in the history of cars. The Audi R8 has actually been the number one, like, supercar that I would actually want to own. And you might be saying, well, well why, why are you mentioning that? If you ask me personally, you've got the Audi R8, then you've got the Lamborghini Huracan, then you've got the Huracan Performante. This is the top trouble. So if you really want to know my answer... Would I take this, the McLaren, or the Ferrari? It's gonna be the Lamborghini any single day of the week. Lamborghini, ever since it was a fetus in the womb, it's been a Lamborghini. I'm sorry. Forza-thon shop is now working, but it's not really worth bothering about. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Hey, we're in, and we're just gonna close that because that's a waste of time. Nobody's interested in any of those cars. <laughs> Back to the festival. 
Let's go full beans. Now we've got the Aventador engine in this thing. 1,100 horsepower, 1,500 horsepower. It's using its big brother's engine. A bunch of you guys are asking for a quick little top speed test. We'll see what we can do. Come on, Performante. Down the hill. 265, 269. That's a good top speed. Give me one more. Give me one more. Come on. Come on. How can we hit so, sit so happily at 268? Boys, I think we need more horsepower. 269 miles an hour. I appreciate the memes, Lamborghini. <laughs> We're gonna send the Hurricane off with this one. The Colossus. All right, Hurricane, you've got no excuses. 1,500 horsepower against a bunch of hatchbacks. If you can't beat these, I don't know what you're doing. I think our main issue is gonna be getting through all of the traffic. Honestly, though, I love this thing. The understeer, it's, it's there, that's for sure. But it's not terrible. Honestly, people aren't gonna use this thing because it's fast or because it sounds really good or because it's got all the customization in the world. People are gonna use this thing just because it's a Hurricane Performante and it's cool and we've wanted it forever. That's the only reason. I know people are gonna be disappointed by the sound, but at the end of the day, it's still a Performante. And it's still so sick. This one's got 1,500 horsepower. It's completely unpractical. It doesn't drive particularly well, but it's just so sick. I'm sorry, Ferrari. I'm sorry, McLaren. I I've made my choice. Lamborghini is the top trump. The car that we've been waiting all these years for. It lives up to our expectations, sort of, kind of. I would have much appreciated something that had a little bit of a better engine, no, but it's Forza Horizon. It is what it is. We can't have it all. I'm happy we got the car at all. I do have to say, though, in two weeks' time, we've got a car that's probably even more requested than this thing. The Toyota AE86, the tofu delivery vehicle. I cannot wait to drive that thing around. If you want to see that thing, make sure you subscribe because that'll be coming at you in two weeks from now, boys.